and so we drove upstate and uh, Harry got very very thirsty and uh, took a few sips uh, from my beer and uh, ended up us taking a couple of drags off my cigarettes and uh, so we drove we drove upstate and she kind of fell asleep and uh, so I just let her sleep and I drove and I watched the trees going by and all the, the houses and, uh, and the fields and the, where the Indians used to go and get corn and maize from and and I was like, you know, wow, this is mesmerizing to drive upstate, like, in the four minutes. So anyway, so uh, I saw a bunch of really nice bonds and, I don't know, kind of a lonely trailer that made me, remind me of my youth. I, I, I don't know. Life upstate is different. It's totally different. And, uh, so I just let Harry sleep and I... I started singing to myself because, you know, I was getting a little bored. And, and Say we gotta get off this road. And so we take the exit and we get off and uh, get some gas and uh, some beer, and buy some more cigarettes. And uh, seems like everything's okay. And, you know, Harry's really not, not, not speaking to me. Uh, easy and, and just try to be kind and, and cool so, so we got back on the road and uh, I don't know she just kind of ignored me and um, you know she, she read a book um, she had brought with her a very big book I saw this hawk flying in the sky and I, and I look up and uh, it's this hawk, you know, and the hawks are very, very, uh, significant for any in the war for me. She didn't notice. What do you mean? Women who run with the wolves. Women who run with the wolves, huh? I like hawks, I said. Uh, they remind me of uh, Indians and spirits and stuff, I said. Uh, and uh, she just kept reading her book. Yeah, uh-huh. She didn't. Is that a good book? It's a great book. What's it about? Stories? Good stories? Stories, myths, archetypes. You do know what an archetype is. Archetype? She says. Uh, you know what an archetype is? I don't know. Something to do with buildings or something? I don't know. It's about... An archetype is an image that you have of yourself that's uh -huh. mythological. Uh -huh. I know what you're saying. How are you or something? Right? No? Do you even read, Calvin? Yeah, I read. Yeah. I read, you know, books like, well, I'm reading Zen and the Auto, Auto, Motorcycle Maintenance right now. It's a good book. 
it's about a guy and his son on a, on a, on a, on a road trip across the country on a motorcycle. Uh, you ever read it? Yeah, I read it in college. Oh. Well, I, I like, you know, Tom Wolf, Man Jack, Kerouac stuff, like that William F. Burroughs, stuff like that. Alright, it's Tom Wolf. Tom Wolf, yeah, Tom Wolf. Jack Tom, Kerouac. Not Tom Wolf, Man. And Will, William S. Burroughs. William S. Burroughs. Can you even read, Calvin? I mean, we've always wondered about you. I mean, aren't you dyslexic or something? I mean, I've never even seen you write anything. I can write. I can read and I can write, Harry. I don't know what your problem is. This wouldn't interest you anyway. It's way too intellectual for you. Right. It's about women's wild souls. Uh -huh. You know? The souls we had before you dickheads fucked them out of us. Fuck, man. I didn't... Fuck. I thought they were so fucked up. You go a little faster. I'm going with the speed limit. Voice, she says, speed up. And then she says, slow down. Back up, back up, back up. I'm like, what, what? Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. <sighs> what? Look at that wedding dress. What's so special? I mean, what's so special about a bunch of wedding dresses, man? You don't think it's beautiful? You don't think it's beautiful? Wow. Well, it's, it's... Okay, but you know what? You can't wear white anyway. You're not a virgin. Why do you think she has no hair? Let's go. I mean, don't they have pants? Come on, honey. Let's go. Let's, let's go. got very very quiet in the car and at the next phone booth she made me pull over so she could immediately call her fiance Jim and uh yeah touch base uh, can you hear me now Jim Jimbo Hi, this is Jim Mayfield. Uh, I'll leave a message after the beep and I'll get back to you. Thank you. Jim, hi, sweetie baby. I love you. I miss you. We're on our way. We're running a little late. It's like 2.30. We're outside of Roscoe. You'll be there, okay? Why aren't you home? How come you're not answering the phone? Everything's going great. Um, Harry, come on. And I, I love you. Did I say that? I love you. I love you. I wasn't exactly sure what that hand gesture meant uh, from Harriet, but I, I knew it wasn't nice. There was an old train station right near where we were with a bummer shave sign uh, running down the side of it. Uh, I asked Terry to take my picture. If you want to drink and drive, you will barely stay alive. Bummer shave. <laughs> I, I hope she framed the camera right. 